Hi, I'm Kaya from Valkyrie Martial Arts, and today I'm going to be talking about building an effective workout. So when you're trying to come up with your own exercise routine, there's a lot of things to consider. You want to know, think about which muscles you want to develop. You want to make sure that you're developing muscles correctly in opposition, so your biceps and your triceps are getting trained together. And you want to find exercises that are actually interesting and sustainable over the long term. All of these are great and are very important, but one thing that doesn't get discussed as much is what capacity you're trying to develop in those muscles. And that's what we're gonna be addressing today. So the first capability that we want to develop is strength or strength endurance. And you can think of this as your ability to perform an exercise or an action consistently over time. Next up is power or maximal strength. And this is your capability to do something at maximum muscular contraction or maximum exertion. And it's something we see commonly with jumping or with single repetition Olympic lifts. Next up is endurance or our ability to sustain an exercise over a long period of time. And when we're doing endurance work, what we're actually doing is we're building bigger muscles, which is also known as hypertrophy. Finally, there's mobility, which is our ability to work under load through our full range of motion. This is also tied closely to proprioception or our sense of where our body is in space, which is crucial to solidifying the connections that allow us to work with full strength and power. So how do we actually work to develop strength, power, endurance, and mobility over the course of a workout? You're gonna to have to modify the exercises that you're doing to uh, emphasize one of these capabilities over the others. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using the L-sit as an example. So if you remember, this is an exercise that focuses on developing our shoulders, pectorals, and abdominal muscles. So for strength, you're gonna go for a 30 second total hold time of the very toughest variant that you can manage and you're gonna rest for 60 seconds in between each rep. For power, you're gonna do 30 repetitions of the toughest variant you can manage with the highest speed possible. And you're gonna rest for a full two minutes between sets. For endurance, you're gonna find the hardest variant that you can comfortably hold for a full 30 seconds, hold it for 30 seconds, and then take very short rests of only 30 seconds between repetitions. Mobility is a bit of a different beast. We can't do static holds to test our full range of motion through our shoulders. So we're gonna start with this exercise, which is called the six step. And you can see that it's actually taking my shoulders through pretty much every position that it, we use in our basic gymnastics holds. Cartwheels are also a great mobility exercise for the shoulders because they get the arms all the way up over the head while still forcing you to lift and balance. And that's how you get started building a custom workout. Now, obviously there are a lot more factors that are going to go into building a complete exercise routine, especially if you're working at a competitive or, or semi-competitive level. You have to understand energy systems, you have to understand periodization, you have to have a very good understanding of the connections and muscle chains that you're working. And all of that is outside of the scope of this video. What I hope I have given you is some good tools for starting to tailor your workouts more specifically to the kind of capabilities that you're trying to build.